Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in today's video we're going to be talking specifically about installing the M-Audio Software Manager. Now this is used for the Oxygen Pro series, the Hammer 88 Pro, and it's also used for the Oxygen series, but in this video I'm going to be talking specifically about the version for the Oxygen Pro and Hammer 88 Pro versions. So my goal in this video is to walk you through installing that software manager and then installing the three main air plugins that come with it, the Mini Grand, Hybrid 3, and Velvet. Now these are standalone plugins that come included with the controller. They also have plugin versions that can be used inside of a DAW, but we're gonna be talking specifically about installing and activating those as well, because I've had some questions over the last year or so about getting those instruments, where the activation code comes from. We're gonna talk about all of that in this video. Let's jump over to the computer, and get started. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before we even get into this is download and install the iLock License Manager. If you're wondering how to do that, I have a video that I'll put in the description below or you can click up here to go watch that. And that talks about creating your iLock account, installing the iLock License Manager, and that's gonna be needed to activate these three air instruments that I referred to just a little bit ago. We're gonna minimize this and in your favorite browser, go to m-audio.com or Google m-audio. Go to mAudio.com and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you haven't already is create an account and register your controller. You're gonna need the serial number for that. It's on the bottom of the controller. Go ahead and create your account and that's the first step because once you create your account, that's gonna give you access to the software manager and other things like that. So up in the account menu, click on create account if you haven't. If you have, in my case, I already have an account. So I'm gonna click on the sign in option. Go ahead and enter your email address and password you used when you created your account and click the sign in button. Once you've signed in, you're gonna be brought to your account page. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is click on my products and that's gonna load up this page with your products in it. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see that you have an authorization code listed here. I've blanked mine out because this is my authorization code, but what we're gonna do is download the software manager that's appropriate for the operating system we're running. So I'm running Windows, so I'm gonna click on this Windows link here and that's gonna download the software manager for Windows. Obviously, if you're using Mac, you're gonna download and install the Mac version. That's gonna download it to your default downloads folder. I'm gonna go up here and click on this exe file here. You could always go to the directory and double click on it from there. But because it's an exe, we don't need to unzip it or anything. We can click on it right there and it's gonna open up the install process. The first thing it's gonna do is download the latest update and you'll see that an update is ready. So we're gonna click on the install update it could be that yours isn't gonna do this, so it may just run and do the installation process itself. But in this case, we do have an update, so we're gonna get that installed. And the welcome screen of the software manager opens up and jumps to this page right here. Now, if this is your very first time opening the software manager, it's gonna walk you through a little bit of a tutorial there. If you wanna see that again, you can go up to this gear icon and restart setup wizard. I'm gonna show you that just in case this is your very first time going through this process. So the first thing it says is connect your keyboard, which we have done. We have the Oxygen Pro Mini connected to the computer. Click on next. The instruments here are automatically checked, Hybrid 3, Mini Grand, and Velvet. You could leave those checked and it's gonna install them. Just for our sake, I'm gonna uncheck them and I'm gonna show you how to get to them later. We're gonna click on next. The apps, you see MPC Beats is available. We're gonna uncheck that because we don't wanna install that right now. And then all of the MPC sound packs, we're gonna uncheck the ones that it's automatically checked and click on finish. And that brings us back to the page where I started out because I had already gone through that setup wizard before this video. Now you can see here under the instruments panel, we have this download button here. So we're gonna do this to one of the instruments. We're gonna download the Hybrid 3. We're gonna activate that. This process is the same for the Mini Grand and Velvet. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the Hybrid 3 for this video. And then the other two, you can follow that same step. So we're gonna click on the install button here and we're gonna install now. Now, you could also get activation code, and if we click on that, it brings us over to this little screen that says, create an iLock account, log into the M-Audio account, go to your software registration page, which is the My Products, copy the activation code for the software, launch the app, and enter the activation code. Now, here's the tricky thing. That activation code is 
the activation code for the software manager. Now it's not really stated that it is. And so I've had a lot of questions about where do I find the activation code? That's actually the activation code is this software manager authorization code. That is the activation code for these air instruments. So hopefully that helps you out there if you've been wondering what that is. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna click cancel and we're gonna install hybrid three by clicking the install button and then install now. We're gonna click next. If you wanna create a desktop shortcut, check that box and then we're gonna click the install button. We're gonna let it run through that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, a part of this installation is not only installing the standalone instrument, but also installing the plugin version that you can use inside of your DAW. Once the wizard is complete, click on the finish button, and then we can close this little dialog here. And you'll see now that Hybrid 3 is installed and the button has changed to open. Go ahead and click on that button and it's gonna launch the Hybrid 3 plugin. Now the first thing that you're gonna get is this screen right here. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the activate button here and you'll see activation code entry. We're gonna go back over to our M Audio account and we're gonna copy the authorization code from the software manager and you can do that just by clicking on the code itself. Once you do that, click in the very first box in the activation code entry and right click and paste. What that's gonna do is it's gonna paste the authorization code. You're gonna get a little green check mark under each of the fields. Once you do that, then click on the next button. The next screen we get says to please enter some information and asks for an email address. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna click this little checkbox that says register with my existing iLock account. And then this email box goes read only and we click continue. Now again, this is assuming you've already created your iLock account and you've downloaded the iLock license manager. Click on the continue button and then you're gonna log into your iLock account with the user ID and password you used when you created your iLock account. I'm gonna click on the remember me box and click next. Now it's gonna go through and it's gonna ask us to select a location. We're gonna use our computer as the location and we're gonna click on next. It says successful activation. We're gonna click continue. And then you'll see that hybrid opens up right there. Now, just to confirm that this registered with our iLock account, I have the iLock license manager open right here. And you'll notice that we get this new little block showing up under our licenses called hardware bundle air for MPK Mini 3. And I'm not sure why it's labeled like that. It's that way for the Oxygen Pro, the Oxygen Pro Mini. But basically, this is letting us know that this license is good for the Velvet, Mini Grand, and Hybrid plugins. And those are the plugins here in the instrument section of our software manager. So while we play around with Hybrid, we're gonna go ahead and download both Mini Grand and Velvet. And while those download, let's go over to Hybrid. And let's go up to our gear icon, and we'll do a quick test make sure our speakers are working, and then active MIDI inputs. You'll see that the Oxygen Pro Mini is active, so we're gonna close this. And you can see that when I play the Oxygen Pro Mini, we get the sound from the hybrid instrument there. Tons of instruments here, I won't get into detail on that, but let's go back over to the software manager. And we're gonna install the Mini Grand just like we did with Hybrid 3. Click on the Install button and then Install Now. If you wanted to create a desktop shortcut, you could check this box. Click the Install button and that's gonna go through installing the Mini Grand standalone and Mini Grand plugin. Once the wizard's completed, click on the Finish button. And then we can close this little dialog here again and we can click on the open button for the Mini Grand. It's gonna go ahead and launch the Mini Grand standalone plugin. And because we already activated the Air Bundle, you'll notice it didn't ask me to activate the Mini Grand because when we go to our iLock license manager, again, this bundle for this single activation code, which was a software manager authorization code, is the activation code for the Velvet, Mini Grand, and Hybrid. So we just activated one and it went ahead and activated all three of them for us. So you could follow the same process for the Velvet, install, install that, and then it'll automatically be activated because we already activated 
the Hybrid 3. So I hope this video was helpful for you in installing the software manager, installing those instruments, and then where to get that activation code, how to activate those instruments, and get started playing. This is a great bundle that has hundreds of sounds that sound great, and they get you started. You don't even need a DAW installed to get started with these instruments. So if you've got any questions around this process, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.